Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about what is Java Persistent API, JPA. Very important question. The Java Persistent Architecture API, JPA, is a Java specification for accessing, persisting and managing data between Java objects and the relational database. So, very important term you should remember is Java specification. It's JPA is going to set, uh, it's going to uh, give you a set of rules or I can say it, they're going to give you a standard interfaces all the ORM implementers or all, all the ORM providers should take this interface and start implementing JPA is a specification meaning it provides guidelines for developing an interface that compiles complies with a certain standard say for example there is an application okay now they are currently using ORM 1 that is Ibernet they are using they have their own interface like uh, implementation like insert method, update method, delete method, select method. Okay. Now for some reason after two years I, they want to change it to a different ORM. Okay. Eclipse link. But Eclipse link is providing a different API, different method names, add object, update object, delete object, select object. For example, I'm, I'm giving an example. It's not the exact one. I'm just giving an example. Say, uh, say after two years I want to change it to a different ORM ORM 3 which is which is giving me insert object update object remove object and select object okay now what will happen is the application has to keep on changing the code if you if the ORMs are giving their own method names okay they are giving their own interfaces and method names what will happen the application has to change so if I want to switch between one ORM to the other ORM what will happen I have to change my application code so for that we need a specification we need a JPA specification Java persistent API specification they will say it's a group of it's a community where they will specify these are the interfaces and the J, JPA providers will give the implementation for the for the APIs okay say for example JPA is, uh, is giving you an interface like this interface JPA these are the uh, interfaces a standard interface when I say my ORM my own ORM is complies, compliant with JPA that means I'm going to provide the implementation okay with these interfaces I won't have my own method names that's what I want to clear it here okay so what will happen what is the advantage even if I want to change from Ibernate to Eclipse link okay from one ORM to the other ORM if I move there won't be any change in my code because it's the same API I'm going to use just the configuration is going to change in my application so for that purpose we need JPA specification a standard guidelines I would say or a, a Java specification guidelines or rules where all the ORM providers or JPA providers should be aware of and they should give only these implementation only for these methods okay only for these methods not their own method names this is the purpose of uh, JPA hope this video is useful thank you